Once upon a time, in a beautiful part of Africa by the sea, there lived a mermaid named Amara. Now, Amara wasn't your usual mermaid. She was very big, which made her feel different from her graceful friends. Amara had an amazing voice. When Amara sang, it was like the whole ocean stopped to listen. Even the fish would gather around, enchanted by her melodies. Despite her amazing talent, Amara often felt lonely. Her mermaid friends were really fast swimmers, and Amara just couldn't keep up with them. They'd dart through the water, leaving her trailing behind. Sometimes they'd tease her, saying she was too slow. It made Amara feel left out and sad. But Amara had a special way of coping with her loneliness. She loved to sing. Whenever she felt down, she'd swim closer to the shore, watching the humans and singing to herself. It was her way of finding comfort in the rhythm of the waves. One stormy night, as Amara sang her heart out, a bolt of lightning struck the water nearby and she passed out. When she woke up, she found herself lying on the sandy beach, disoriented and soaked. Instinctively, she reached for her tail, only to find two strange limbs in its place. Shocked and confused, she stared down at her transformed body, her hands trembling as she felt the smoothness of human skin. Panic gripped her as she realized the magnitude of what had happened. But as she examined herself further, she noticed something remarkable. Her once large and cumbersome form had changed. Her stomach was no longer round and bloated, her arms no longer heavy. In place of her tail were two legs, delicate and graceful, bringing a newfound elegance to her entire being. A mixture of fear and excitement surged through Amara as she realized this was her chance to explore life on land. With newfound determination, she ventured into the nearby village, her steps hesitant yet filled with wonder at the possibilities ahead. As Amara explored the village, she marveled at the colorful stalls lining the streets, the enticing smells of freshly cooked food, and the cheerful chatter of the villagers. Everywhere she went, people stopped to stare, their eyes wide with wonder at the sight of the mysterious newcomer with flowing hair and shimmering eyes. Whoa, have you ever seen someone like her before? A young girl whispered to her friend, her eyes wide with wonder. I don't know, but she's so pretty, her friend replied, nodding in agreement. Amara couldn't help but smile at the attention, feeling a sense of validation and acceptance that she had never experienced beneath the waves. For once, she wasn't the odd one out. She was someone special, someone worth noticing. With each step, Amara's confidence grew, her fears and uncertainties slowly fading away as she embraced the adventure of her newfound human life. And as she stepped into the lively village square, surrounded by the sights and sounds of human life, she knew that this was just the beginning of her journey. As days turned into weeks, Amara became an integral part of the village. She told the villagers she was a newcomer from a faraway land who had recently moved to their village and they welcomed her with open arms. Her ravishing beauty captivated the men of the village, and she quickly became the most sought-after woman around. Men lined up to date her, showering her with expensive gifts and attention. Amara enjoyed the adoration and the feeling of being desired, but as time went on, the constant attention began to inflate her ego. One day, as Amara strolled through the village square, a group of admirers approached her, each vying for her attention. Amara, you're looking more beautiful than ever today. One man gushed, his eyes shining with admiration. Amara smiled smugly, basking in the attention. Of course, darling. With a beauty like mine, it's hard not to shine, she replied, her tone dripping with arrogance. Her admirers laughed nervously, but as they continued to lavish her with compliments, Amara's arrogance only grew. Later that evening, Amara met with one of her suitors for a date. As they sat together in the village square, the man reached across the table to hold her hand. Amara, I can't stop thinking about you. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met, he confessed, his eyes full of adoration. Amara smiled coyly, but inside, she felt a surge of boredom. She was tired of this man already. His adoration, no longer enough to satisfy her ego. I'm sorry, but I think I need something more exciting in my life, she said dismissively, pulling her hand away. I think it's time we end things. The man's face fell, 
his heart breaking at Amara's cold rejection. But she simply shrugged it off, already setting her sights on her next conquest. As time went on, Amara continued to play with the hearts of the village men, never committing to any one person for long. The villagers watched sadly as the kind newcomer they once admired transformed into someone shallow and indifferent, consumed by her own vanity and self-importance. As time went on, even married men were not immune to Amara's charms. She began to attract the attention of wealthy men in the village, who would leave their wives just for the chance to be with her. They showered her with gifts and attention, hoping to win her affections. But Amara had no interest in commitment. She saw these men as nothing more than temporary playthings to satisfy her ego. One day, a woman named Aisha confronted Amara in the village square. Tears streamed down her face as she accused Amara of stealing her husband away from her and their four children. How could you do this to me? Aisha cried, her voice filled with pain and betrayal. Amara simply shrugged, her expression cold and indifferent. I'm sorry, darling, but your husband chose me. There's nothing I can do about it. Aisha's anguish only seemed to amuse Amara, who remained unmoved by her suffering. With a haughty toss of her hair, she turned and walked away, leaving Aisha standing alone in the square, heartbroken and humiliated. Meanwhile in the village, preparations were underway for the annual singing competition, the most anticipated event of the year. Amara was the clear favorite to win, her mesmerizing voice captivating everyone who heard it. As the day of the competition arrived, the villagers gathered in the square, eager to hear Amara sing. But just as she began her performance, dark clouds rolled in, and the sky opened up with a torrential downpour. Amara's beautiful voice faltered as she struggled to sing through the rain. And then, to the shock of everyone watching, her body began to change. Her legs fused together, and her human form melted away revealing her true identity as the big mermaid she once was. The villagers gasped in astonishment as they watched Amara transform before their eyes, her size and shape changing back to her original form. As Amara looked around, her heart pounded with fear and uncertainty. She braced herself for anger or rejection, expecting the villagers to cast her out for her arrogance and cruelty. Anger simmered among some of the villagers especially those who had been hurt by Amara's actions. They wanted to hurl stones at her, their voices rising in fury. However, others stepped forward, their voices calm and soothing, urging restraint and forgiveness. They reminded their fellow villagers that forgiveness was a powerful force, one that could heal wounds and bring about reconciliation. In the end, the villagers came together in a display of unity and compassion. Despite their anger and hurt, they chose to forgive Amara. Together, they helped her back into the ocean, showing her the kindness she had failed to extend to them. Amara returned to the ocean, her heart lighter knowing that she had been granted a chance at redemption. And as the sun broke through the clouds, casting a warm glow over the village square, a sense of peace settled over the community, reminding them of the transformative power of forgiveness.